Uncle Fight me Somebody, somebody. Somebody said, go for me one day. One day. Somebody, somebody. Tiwasave cried out and begged for someone's home to come and marry her. Hello, my correct, correct people. Welcome back to Africa Talk and First Blog. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. May God bless you all. And for those that have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do me a favor by subscribing and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload any new videos, any new updates, you will be the first person to see it. Okay, my correct people. So now the video, when I go like, make a share, make a constant show now. Now you just be this one. Wait, you just the apple. So out to our savage, they beg someone to make cut him marry her. And add blessing. See you, constant take, come and carry herself. Come and come begin the advice. All these people, when they fall in love with the wrong people. So now the video, make me just to come and say, I go still like me. I see share the video with you now. Anything on assist you for the video, on I go still leave on a comment for the comment session. Thank you guys for always watching my video and please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notify bell so that whenever I upload any new video, you will be the first person to see. See you guys on my next video. Bye. The different types of people you should run from in a relationship. Number one, the convenient lover. If you see somebody that love you based on convenience, run. That one that only love you when they have time. They don't prioritize you. They just chill until any time that they have cleared their table, any time they are back from the office, any time that they are free. That's when they pick up their call and call you and ask you what's up. Or run from convenient lovers because they are users. They are just using you to while away time. They don't have any business with love. When people cannot prioritize you, they don't love you. When you get into a relationship, the first thing you should pay attention to is priority. What is priority? Does he put me first? Can he be able to squeeze out time for me? They used to go and piss. They used to go and shit. They have time to call you there. So, run from convenient lovers. They are scammers. Mm -hmm. Number two, liars. Jesus. Liars are people that lie for nothing. They just lie to feel smart. They just lie to play you. They don't lie for nothing. They cannot say the truth. And this person will be lying. And you'll be like, why are you even lying? You know I'm not going to beat you. You know, they will just lie. Where did you drop this cup? Ah, the cup is in the kitchen, but the cup is in the dining. They just lie to lie to play smart. Jesus! Run from such people in a relationship because they will stress you. They will stress you. You will see, they will say, no, no. Ah! But you are just so now. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Liars will stress you in a relationship. Like, they'll give you a dick. So once you see that this person can lie for nothing, this person will lie for nothing. They enjoy life. I lie is their hobby. Run from there. Those people are terrible. Yee. They will drain you. They'll make you go mad. They'll make you go crazy. Run from liars. Ha! Now then be egg bon. Egg bon. <laughs> Number three, nagas. Oh God, if you don't want to die young in a relationship, run from a nag. A man is a nag. A woman is a nag. A nag is that person that picks up unnecessary fights. They don't want to listen. They don't want to hear. They just want to fight every time. Why? Why? Could you pay attention? Nagas are people who don't pay attention. They don't want to understand you. They don't want to know where you are coming from. Just let's just be going here every time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nagas are people who don't want to have conversations. The moment you want to sit down and have a conversation with them, they turn the conversation to fight. Correct. Buzz, buzz. If you meet such people that can nag, run from a relationship. Date people who can communicate with you. Somebody who can want to listen to you and understand where you're coming from. Nagas don't want to hear anything. Show me your father. Before you say Jack, they will start to shout. Before you say Pa, they don't break buttons. They don't get it. Ah, madam, calm down. Oga, calm down. We are having a conversation. Run from nagas. They will drain you. They will kill you. Mental health. They will, they will rip you. Violent people. In the bus bus. Hey, hey, hey. Any smart they don't break buttons. They don't carry television. Violent people will kill you. There is nothing you want to tell me that I'm going to accept a violent person. There is nothing like I'm a hot-tempered person. Madam, cool your temper. Because all of us have temper. All of us are mad. If all of us decide to display our violent side, we cannot be in a relationship. 
You are doing violent, violent because me, I'm keeping quiet. Because me, I'm playing calm woman. Because the man is playing calm man. If all of us won't bring out our worry or our madness, all of us go wrong. No? So when somebody wants to get violent with you, oh God, run, madam, run. Violence is a no no in a relationship before they kill somebody's child. Violent people are people who cannot control their anger. And when you're in a relationship and a marriage, you cannot control your anger. My dear, I cannot marry you before you wake up one day and kill me and tell me that you are sorry. Run from violent people. Selfish people. Ah! Selfish people are people who want so much from you and don't want to give you anything. In the expectation. They're always expecting something. You are supposed to, you are supposed to, they don't want to give anything. They sit down in their comfort zone and dictate and project what you are supposed to do. But they are so realized they don't have strength, they don't have power. Selfish people are people you should run away from in relationship. People that don't want to make sacrifices, that don't want to put in effort, that don't want to move their hands. They are just relaxed and telling you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give me money, you're supposed to lie like this, you're supposed to raise your leg. Selfish people will drain you. Selfish people will make you sick. Selfish people will turn you to an animal, somebody that you are not. They will make you to be doing like Mumu because there is nothing you even do to satisfy a selfish person. Why? Because they don't put in effort, they just project. So they don't even know the energy and the effort that you're putting in the things that you're trying to do to please them. They're just I'm saying, you're supposed to, you did not do this one. Selfish people run from them. Those people are number are... six. I TK people. I too know people. Hey! I too know people are people who don't know anything, but they will not allow you to teach them. Don't get into a relationship with somebody you cannot teach. Because why are you coming in, into a relationship with me if you know everything? The reason why we are coming into a relationship is to partner. You share, share what you know, I share what I know. If I cannot share what I know with you, madam, go and date yourself. Or go, go and date yourself. ITK. If you date ITK people, you'll be miserable in the relationship. They will not allow you to talk. They will not allow you to share your opinion. They know everything. I know you. You're my girlfriend. I know you. I know you. you they, know, they don't know you, but they will always say that they know you. They will stress you. ITK people. People who cannot have conversations. People who don't want to listen to other people's opinion in a relationship. My darling, run from such because they are going to drain you. That is how you, your, your eye will be like this 24 hours. Sleepy, sleepy. Because it, and they are always talking off points. They can talk off points. ITK people. Number seven, the last but not the least. Don't date people that do not make sound during sex. Yes, I said what I said. All these people that begin, mm, 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 that will be holding their breaths, that will be holding your expression during sex. They like, don't want to express themselves. You are making them happy. You are touching them in the right spots. They don't want to even make a sound to say. Mm, mm. They are just they are, they are forming man, man. They are forming man, woman, woman. They are forming Akobi. Don't date them. All these people that will not open their mouth and express themselves when you are making love to them and they are enjoying it. Those kind of people, they are dangerous people. They will be making you to be wasting your time. And you know that sex is work. After putting all your energy, you are knocking them. Doing, mm, mm, why are you doing? Mm, mm. Open your mouth and talk. It simply means those people have communication problem. They are pretenders. They are pretenders. Something will be sweet in them. The reason I is not sweet in them. The is bitter. Those people are pretenders. So don't date such people. Don't date such people. They should open their mouth and shout when you are making love to them. When you are doing it right. When you are hitting it right. Sex is work. Mm. Don't date such people. That's finished.